the only way to get Luna to go to the bathroom is when we take her outside to play. And it was pouring rain this morning, like seriously pouring so hard. And I was laying in bed waiting for it to stop raining and it finally stopped a little bit. It's still sprinkling, but it's definitely not like pouring rain like it was earlier. Are you already a little wet? Like Luna's already a little wet. Her fur is already a little wet, but do you want to play? All right, come on, let's play. And I wanted to vlog this because I wanted to show you all Luna playing in the rain because I just think it's really cute. But obviously my Canon is not waterproof. So I'm actually vlogging on my GoPro for the first time today. Feels really weird, but I don't know. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll look pretty cool. See, it's not raining too bad out here. You look so cute, Luna. I'm gonna have to towel dry you when we get back home though. Okay. Ready, Linda? Good catch, honey. She's a little wet down here. And a little bit by her hind legs too. And maybe a little bit by the ears. Yeah, you just wanna play, huh? Okay. It's supposed to rain off and on all day long today. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I got Luna outside to play and get some exercise in before it starts pouring rain again like it was earlier. The thunder actually woke me up while I was sleeping this morning because it was so loud. But that's just how Texas weather is sometimes. I swear sometimes it just storms like crazy here. Is this the face of a happy dog? I think this is the face of a happy dog. And I can already feel it starting to sprinkle even more. So Luna, I think the rain is gonna start coming down again. And that means it's time for us to head back inside. Whenever Luna gets wet from the rain outside, I always grab this old towel and I towel dry her off. I'm so glad we came inside when we did because you can start to hear and see the rain coming down so much harder now. And it's gonna be like this all day long too. Also, I wanted to thank everyone so much for showing so much concern about Luna in my last video. Hey, you okay? We ended up getting her one of these slow feeder bowls that has the little maze in it and I'm really hoping that it will help. She just started eating out of it yesterday and she still feels pretty reluctant about it. Like I think she definitely misses her old bowl but if this is going to help her to not eat as fast then this is what we'll be doing. Luna doesn't like the kibble that's all the way out here probably because it's more difficult to get and she'll kind of just leave them. So we're gonna see what she does. All right, eat your food. All right, Luna, for being such a good girl and finishing all your food, you get a dentist stick. So brush your teeth. Then as usual, Luna always runs over to her little corner here to eat all of her treats. This weather makes it feel like it is not being close to summer at all. It feels like it's September or October because with the rain, it was actually kind of cold out this morning. It was in the low 60s. I love this tea so good and it's actually almost 11 a.m. Eric and I slept in a bit today, so I think it's time that we make some breakfast. Breakfast tacos. Breakfast tacos. All right, so this is what I've been making in the morning a lot, is we have these tortillas from Kroger down here that are really good. So good. I'll slice up the bacon. I'll cook it up and then throughout the week, I'll just kind of make little breakfast tacos because they're quick and easy. I'm not a huge cereal guy. This is our setup for our breakfast tacos. We have our tortillas right here, the bacon that Eric has already cooked throughout the week, some cheese, some organic lactose free milk, and eggs. I don't like microwaving to reheat my food. I'm going to do it on the stovetop just because I think it tastes better. I'll get another pan out for my eggs. Julie and I, it's about four eggs. I've been practicing my one hand crack, let's see. Ah, 
nailed it. <laughs> if any of you guys know how to crack an egg with one hand, you want to give me some tips, <laughs> feel free. I'm not, I'm not the best at it. I've always been told, like, you don't crack it on the edge. You always do it, like, flat. But it, it seems like with one hand, you crack here, then you, like, split it. <laughs> Boom. Four eggs. I don't put salt in. Because I saw Gordon Ramsay once say, if you put like salt in too early, it makes them runny. So I just wait till the end. I add the milk because I want the eggs to be a little bit more fluffy. Master chef. Mm -hmm. I like seeing if the pan's hot enough. I put in like a little touch of water in it. If you hear it sizzle, then you're good to go. I don't want to put oil in this because bacon already has a lot of fat content. For the eggs, I'll put a little bit of butter in there. Bacon starting to sizzle. Eggs are just about done. I like mine a little more on the crispy side. I know Eric doesn't, but I do. <laughs> Got Luna over here laying down on the blanket. Yeah, you trying to stay warm? We have a mini cast iron pan that we're heating up our tortillas in. Everything is done and ready to go. It looks so good. Thanks, babe. Mm -hmm. We have a little bit of extra eggs that Miss Luna is gonna get. I don't think Luna's ever had eggs. There you go, dude. Eat your eggs. Hey, baby, you can eat your eggs. First bite. That's good. Mm. Just so nice. Warm food, it's raining outside. Mm -hmm. It's like nice and cozy in here. I love when it's raining outside and I'm mm. inside. Nice and cozy. Oh, I just want to like bundle up and watch a movie. So many of you commented on my last video about local businesses and restaurants that are near you, and it was just so awesome. I wanted to take a quick second here and highlight all of those places. Last night we tried to do the egg challenge with Luna, where you put an egg in a dog's mouth, and they're supposed to like be really gentle with it and Luna ended up dropping the egg. I didn't get it on camera unfortunately it was so funny but I want to try it again today and see if she does better. Okay Luna let's see if you can take care of this egg today. Gentle good girl. She's doing it today. She doesn't know what to do she just keeps walking around. All right can I have it back? Good girl. No. Don't drop it. Please don't drop it. Can I have it back? Drop good girl. <laughs> what? Oh, she did it. He did it. Good job, Luna. Give me my egg. She's like, give me give my, my egg. egg. Give me my give egg. egg. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No more egg. <laughs> you want to go upstairs? So I'm actually on call with work today, but I keep refreshing my phone to see if there's any trips that have come open today, and I haven't seen any, which is honestly a bit surprising considering the weather is so bad out. Usually when there's storms and really bad weather, all of the reserve flight attendants get called in. I think being on reserve in May is just really slow right now, but I'm really hoping in June, since it will be my line month, I will have a lot more trips to go on and I can bring you all along with me for those. Right now it is 12.20 p.m. I am on call until 6 p.m. tonight and I haven't flown in two weeks. We'll see if I get called for any flights. So I am currently editing this vlog right now and Eric just made me some hot chocolate from a Swiss chocolate bar. It's still really hot, so I'm gonna try and have a little sip out of a spoon first. That's really good. Is it hot? Yeah, it's hot. Mmm. Much better than store-bought hot chocolate. Well, 
it's now six o'clock and I obviously did not get called in for a trip, but I do go back on call tomorrow at 6 a.m. I will talk to you guys tomorrow and we'll see if I get anything then. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more content, please subscribe. Thank you everyone so much for watching and for supporting my channel. It really, really does mean the world to me and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!